right, keep going, TJ. I'm gonna time you. Oh, it's it's too hard. I I give up. Hey, TJ, what you doing? Uh, I'm training for a race, and I want to beat my time, but but it's so hard. Every good thing worth doing takes lots of effort, TJ. Here's a word to learn: is perseverance. Perseverance. That's a big word. What does it mean? Persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. Persistence, tenacity, determination, staying power, endurance. Yeah, yeah, it means keep doing something even if it's hard. I know that training is hard, TJ, but I think you'll really appreciate it when you get to the race. And the good thing is you don't have to do it alone. God has given you other people to encourage you and help you on your way. And today's story is about how David had to learn perseverance in doing the right thing. Today's big idea is God helps us persevere in doing the right thing. God helps us persevere in doing the right thing. I think this is a good one, kids. So say it with us. God helps us persevere in doing the right thing. Okay, I'll listen to this story, but I need to get a drink of water first. Hello, Nina. Thanks for being with us today. Hi, Sheldon. I'm so glad to be here. Hi, Journey Kids. I've missed seeing you. We're going to practice our memory verse. Repeat after me. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outside of a person. People look at the outside of a person. But the Lord looks at what's in the heart. But the Lord looks at what's in the heart. 1 Samuel 16, 7. 1 Samuel 16, 7. Good job, everybody. Great job, Journey Kids. Keep on practicing your verses. Knock, knock. Who's there? Canoe. Canoe who? Can you come out and play with me? Of course I will, Sheldon. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Who? Who, who? Uh, that's what an owl says. That's not very funny. It is funny. You just don't understand humor. It's not funny. I understand hush, it so hush. well. It's funny. No. Do you have a funny joke to share? Record yourself saying it and send it in. You could be on an episode of JKTV. So Sheldon, today is the first Sunday of Advent. Do you remember what Advent means? Um, isn't Advent that thing in church when we all light the candles? Yeah, there. I have actually my Advent wreath from home here and we like to light the candles. Uh, we do one per week and it's there's one for each of the weeks leading up to Christmas. And Advent is a time that we look forward to celebrating the birth of Jesus. So it's just a time of remembering and doing special things to help celebrate. Sheldon, what are some things you're hoping for this Christmas? I'm hoping that I get my new super duper snow blaster James Bond gun 3000 this Christmas for a present for Christmas. Wow, that sounds pretty exciting. What we're talking about for hope though is the, the hope that we have because Jesus came. 
And I'm putting together a chain here to help me rem remember what my hope is. And it's based on Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. It says, those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. So I'm going to make this. And when I'm all done, I can hang it up and it can become part of a decoration and help me to remember. So maybe that's something at home that you can do. Find a favorite verse and you can make a special chain kind of like this one and it can become a great reminder as we remember that Jesus is our hope. story of David, Saul continues to try and hurt him. Saul is still trying to hunt him down and kill him, but David knows that he is not supposed to kill Saul and that God has been helping him. He has to persevere in doing the right thing. And let's read a little bit from 1 Samuel 26 to see what David thinks about all this. So David slipped over to Saul's camp one night to look around. Saul and Abner, son of Ner, the co commander of his army, were sleeping inside a ring formed by the slumbering warriors. Who will volunteer to go in there with me? David asked. David asked Ahimelech the Hittite and Abishai, son of Zeruah, Joab's brother. I'll go with you, Abishai replied. So David and Abishai went right into Saul's camp and found him asleep with his spear stuck in the ground beside his head. Abner and the soldiers were lying asleep around him. God has surely handed your enemy over to you this time, Abishai whispered to David. Let me pin him to the ground with one thrust of the spear. I won't need to strike twice. No, David said, don't kill him. For who can remain innocent after attacking the Lord's anointed one? Surely the Lord will strike Saul down someday, or he will die of old age or in battle. The Lord forbid that I should kill the one he has anointed, but take his spear and that jug of water beside his head, and then let's get out of here. So David took those things to show Saul that he could have hurt him, but he chose not to, that he respected Saul, that Saul was king, and that he also respected God's choice of who would be king. So David continued to persevere in doing what was right, and for you and I, sometimes it can be hard to keep doing what's right. We can get tired. We can feel like the other person doesn't deserve it. But we can trust that God is helping us in doing this and that he is the one who is with us and who loves us. And God even loves the people that are hurting us or frustrating us. Let's continue to persevere in doing what is right. James 1, 2-4. Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow, for when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. Now we're going to read from Galatians 6, verse 9-10. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Therefore, whenever we have the opportunity, we should do good to everyone, especially to those in the family of faith. We're going to read from Hebrews 12, verse 1 to 3. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the, to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up, and let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross, disregarding its shame. 
Now he is seated in the place of honor beside God's throne. Think of all the hostility he endured from sinful people, then you won't become weary and give up. So TJ, how do you feel about persevering now? Well, I still feel tired, but I think I should keep practicing. I know that I'm going to want to do my best at that race. Pastor Sarah, the story of David and Saul is pretty sad. I mean, Saul ends up dying in the end. How's that a good story for learning perseverance? You're right, Polly. There are some stories in the Bible that are pretty intense and some are really sad. And that's why it's important to read some of these stories with a grown-up so that you can talk about it afterward. But in this story, David had to learn how to persevere to do the right thing. Other people wanted him to defeat Saul and become king that way, but David knew that wasn't how God wanted him to become king. So David was willing to wait and see what God's timing would bring. David had to persevere in obeying God. Just like our big idea, God helps us persevere in doing the right thing. God, God helps, helps us persevere, persevere in doing, doing the right, right thing. thing. I think that doing the right thing can sometimes be harder than training for my race. Like when I have to be kind to my little brother. Or loving our enemies and being kind to them. That's right. Perseverance isn't always easy, but we don't have to do it alone. We have God to help us. Here's our blessing as we go persevere this week. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. Amen. Goodbye, See you next everybody. Time. Bye. Okay. And God wants us to persevere in doing what is right. Yeah, um, you, you should like kind of erupt me, erupt me. <laughs> interrupt, yeah, you can kind of interrupt uh, from towards uh, Sheldon. Like halfway through. Bye! That is hilarious. <laughs> Right. Here's a cup of water. Okay, I think we <laughs> got that one.